10 mm below HP lying on VP and 30 mm in front or behind or from RPP. Draw its projections and name the side view. So he says below HP lying on VP. So since it is lying on VP, you cannot consider this. But we need to consider the below HP. So below HP can be seen in fourth quadrant and also in the third quadrant, the condition of below HP. So naturally we have to start solving the problem by considering below HP that is in fourth and as well as in the third. Now we are going to consider the first in the case of fourth quadrant. So here this is 0 and this is 270 degrees. So this will obviously this will be in the fourth quadrant. So when you look lying below HP, now below HP since it is in fourth quadrant, it should be in front of VP. So in front of VP means in front of RPP. So in front of RPP means it should be the left side view. So it will going to be the left side view. So now we are going to solve the problem. So when you when you look from the front view, we can see the distance below HP. So the distance can be seen in the vertical plane. So we're going to get this point P dash. When you look from the top view, it is lying on VP. So obviously the point will be images on HP. So obviously it will be on X on the horizontal plane here, which is small p. The distance with respect to the profile plane that is uh, 30 mm in front of RPP. 30 mm in front of RPP. So that is this distance can be seen. Once you look from the front view, you can see the distance 30 mm in front of VP. When you look from the top view, the distance of 30 mm in front of RPP can be seen in the horizontal plane. Now, when you look from the side view, we can see that both P dash and P double dash will going to be on the same line. So we are cutting it here and then rotate this RPP by 90 degree and the horizontal plane below by 90 degree. So this will going to be the second step. So correspondingly, the image will also be gets rotated. So naturally, the distance with respect to the profile plane, which is 30 mm, which is 30 mm, which can be seen in the vertical plane and also on the horizontal plane. And the distance 10 mm below HP is seen in vertical plane. So the distance will be here, which is P dash lying on VP. So obviously the point will be on HP. So we're going to get this point here. So when you look from the side view, we can see that it's, uh, we can see the distances of front view and also on the top view. So the front view is this distance is here, so it will come here. So lying on HP, so obviously lying on VP, so obviously that point will be on here to get this point. So since we are it is in front of RPP, so obviously this is going to be the left side view. Now we are going to solve the problem in this sketchbook. First we are going to draw the XY line and X1Y1 line and mark XY and X1Y1. And here you mark vertical plane and the horizontal plane in bracket and the right profile plane here. Then the distance with respect to the profile plane which is 30 mm which is seen in VP. So from X1, Y1 line you measure 30 mm in vertical plane and also in the horizontal plane and draw a vertical projector. Since it is lying on VP so obviously that point will be on HP so we are going to get the point on XY line which is small p. The distance below HP which is 10 mm will going to be on vertical plane. So from this point we measure 10 mm and draw uh, mark a point which is P dash. And then as we see in the profile view though, both the distance of front view and the top view. So since the top view is on XY line and the horizontal plane, uh, the profile, uh, the 45 degree line with respect to the horizontal plane which is below XY line. So from the origin point you measure an angle of 45 degree by using the protractor and draw an inclined thin line. Then draw a horizontal projector from P to the origin and then from here the projector is down and draw a horizontal projector from P dash and both will going to intersect at this point. You mark this point as P double dash and name it as the left side view and name the points P, P dash and P double dash and give the dimensions. So the point P is in fourth quadrant. Now we are going to take the, the same problem in third quadrant. So here in the third quadrant what happens you are going to have this point as the origin point this is 270 degree and this is 180 degrees. So obviously this point will be in third quadrant and this will going to be the right profile view and this is HP and this is VP. Now when you look from the front view we can see the distance. So here in the third quadrant what happens we have behind VP, behind VP and below HP. 
So since it is behind VP, so obviously it is behind RPP. So now behind RPP means it should be the right side view. So you're going to get like, the right side view here. So when you look from the front view, we can see the distance behind RPP, which is seen in VP and also in HP. So also when you look from the front view, we can see the distance below HP, which is 10 mm, and you mark this point as P dash. Then when you look from the top view, it is on VP, so obviously the point will be on HP, so it is small p. When you look from the right side view, we can see the distances of below HP and also on VP, so you're going to get this point P double dash. So that means we can see the distances of front view as well as the top view. Now we are cutting it here and then rotating HP up and RPP to the right side. So this will going to be the second step wherein RPP will be in the right side, VP will be adjacent to RPP and HP will be above XY line. So we can see the distance behind uh, RPP is seen in VP as well as in HP and then distance below HP is seen in vertical plane which is P dash and on VP it will be on HP so you're going to get this point. So when you look from the right side view we can see the distances of the top view you are projecting here and then it comes here. Then we can see the distance below HP which is here so P double dash it will going to be the right side view. Now we will try to draw the final solution. In this sketchbook first we will want to draw the XY line and X1 Y1 line and mark HP VP and RPP. Then you measure the distance with respect to the profile plane which is 30 mm which is behind RPP is seen in both VP and HP. So you're going to mark this point, measure this distance of 30 mm and draw a vertical projector which is thin line. So the point P is below HP by 10 mm. So you're going to get VP is below XY line. So you're going to get this point P dash. Then it is on VP, so obviously the point will be on HP, it should be on XY line, it will going to be P. And then draw a 45 degree adjacent to HP, since HP is above XY line, so your 40 degree line, 45 degree line should be above HP, I mean or above XY line. So from this point you measure an angle of 45 degree by using the protractor and then draw a thin line. And draw a horizontal projector from P to the XY line, that is to the origin. And from this point you draw a vertical projector down. And from P dash, you draw a horizontal projector. Both will going to intersect at this point. You're going to get this point as P double dash and mark the points as P, P dash and P double dash. Then since it is behind our PP, so you're going to get the right side view and measure and write the dimensions of 10 and 30 as shown. So this will going to be your final solution. So this is the case in such type of cases. If you try to visualize, uh, try to analyze this, both these will going to have the same sketch, but except that the views will going to be the the profile view will going to be the difference. So in such cases, the point capital P lies in third as well as in fourth quadrant. Except that in the profile view in the third quadrant, the point P will be the right side view, and in and in uh, fourth quadrant, the point P will going to be the left side view. So this is how you will be able to write the final solution.